this picture pretty much sums up what we about to get into in this video i'm about to get you to understand why i chose to upgrade to the aver media live gamer 4k over the elgato hd 60s yes sir yes sir the plastic off this joint <laughs> biting it is crazy let's go gc573 live gamer 4k 4k hdr on the box on the back of it 4k you can push 4k at 60 hertz hdr video capture full 240 fps high frame rate so i can get all my frames while i'm playing support h265 video compression record and stream 4k content show you the back of it Sir, let's open this joint up. See what we got in here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Sora, sora, diri, Wait, thumbnail it. Yeah. <laughs> They give you the card. Card come in a box. They give you one HDMI cable. Got a serial key. Our director 15. Okay. Whatever. One year warranty. Yes, sir. And then we got the manual. So, in case you didn't know about this capture card, it's one. It is internal. So, you have to look it to your mother boy. And I'm going to film that portion. But yeah, I got the quick guide joint. Put that in the camera. So, I have to put this in the camera. Okay, it's a little, okay. It's not, it's not too light, you know what I'm saying? It's not the heaviest thing in the world, but it's not. It's how it look, you know? It's not too light, but it's not the heaviest thing in the world, you know? Because it's good, yeah. Let's go and put that in there. You know they wishing they was one of us. Oh yeah, get that, get that new Joey. And that new one, and Joey. All right, let's go. Let me hook this joint in here, brother. Got it hooked in. Directly under the fan, that's a little, you know what I'm saying? That uh -huh. is what it is. You got it in there snug. Now it's time to connect the P5. Rocking that rope. We got it hooked in right there. Hold on. Boom. We got it hooked in right there. Can we finish the seat? What's to it? Return on the PC. Flashing red. I don't know what that means. I'm in now. Now it's flashing. Okay, okay. Turn up. I have to go back to my downloads folder. Uh you get it. Uh, just make sure that you turn, well, make sure your computer ain't on when you install. That's probably was my problem. When I turned it off and back on, then I was good. You good, I ain't picking her up. There's a newer version. All right, let's update to the newer version. Custom firmware update, all right, let's update it. Take about four minutes, all right. Dun, 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 dun. Why that's updating? Definitely get this up out of here. The HD 60s, you can go. Bye. All right, so I gotta power off the system again. Let's go. All right, so we back again. Now that the driver's done, uh, recentral, I guess. I think that's what the dude in the video said. Do next to continue. Boom. I agree to the license. No, I'm not gonna share data. Wait, you know what? Uh, usage data, whatever. And let's just hope I ain't gotta, you know what I'm saying? Turn my computer off and back on again. Boom. Well, as you can see, it's at down at the bottom, it's at 60 FPS. So, wait, hold on, go back. Hold on, so I'm, I'm bringing up my monitor now. No, we good, we good like that. Boom. Wait, HDR. See that? You see that? Wait, adjust your PS5 HDR setting. Boom. Oh, see, we doing HDR right now. It's already doing HDR. W. Press up and down button to adjust the brightness until the system 
It went to the symbol is barely visible. Hang on, right there. To the symbol is barely visible. Wait, hold on. Right there. One last time. Barely visible. I mean, I think that's it. Right there. All right, we we gonna go in right here. Even though I'm like filming it within something, but I chop this up and do what I gotta do with it. Um, let's go down to what we need to go down to. Boom. Game presets. We make sure we in performance mode. Boom. Um, already off rip. HDR is on. We couldn't even turn it on before. Uh, 120 hertz. We got that enabled. But well, it's, it's base 50 right now. 50. That's crazy. All right, let's 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 add this to OBS right now. All right, so this is how you add it to OBS. You go down to the bottom. Within one of your scenes, you go to sources and you click the add button. What you add is a video capture device. Name it whatever you want. And then you're gonna see devices and the Avermedia HD capture G5731 will pop up right there as long as you install the drivers, which are in my description below. Yeah, I don't need Record Central at all. We good. I don't need Record Central at all. We good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, now let's go into Fortnite right now. We already got HDR on. It's doing it as if I didn't just do this. Settings. No FPS on. Look at that. 120 FPS mode exists now. That was not even there. That wasn't even there. When we tried with what's name. W, we are in here. It works. It does what's needed. It's amazing. And I'm actually running HDR right now. So yeah, this looks gorgeous it's overly bright on that screen though but man it looks gorgeous that's what hdr do that's, that's um that's a w it worked it does what it needed to do my elgato is gone and yeah, my elgato was out of there bro much more much more responsive Oh my God, you don't understand. You just don't understand the responsiveness. This is me going into my settings, trying to turn HDR on with the Elgato. As you can see, it say it does not support HDR. Exact same setup. It hooked up in the exact same way and it did not support it. Yeah. And this is me in Fortnite. Warzone. As you can see, I don't even have an enable 120 Hertz option while on Elgato. And yeah, my biggest thing was I wanted to be able to have that 120 hertz responsiveness as I was playing my PS5 on stream. Because if you know anything about it, you know that you have to play the game with that latency unless you was going to record it and then upload it after. But I just wanted to simplify things, get it done. And yeah, have a media came through in the clutch. 100% recommend.